morning, Harrelson County Rebels. I'm Crystal Lockhart with your morning news. Attention students, do you have obstacles standing in the way of reaching your goal of graduating high school? Are you behind on credits and need to be caught up? Do you need to work to help support yourself but aren't sure how you will be able to work and go to school at the same time? Do you need transportation to and from work? The South Wire 12 for Life program is the answer to all these questions. 12 for Life is now hiring and accepting new students into the program. See Mr. Saxon in the College and Career Academy for more information. You must be 16 years old by January 15th to apply. Also, for juniors and seniors, Harrelson County Schools has several paid job opportunities available for next semester. The district office is hiring receptionists, the faculties and maintenance department is hiring a maintenance assistant, and the transportation department is hiring an office assistant. Please see Mr. Saxon for more information. If you want to be a part of the spring musical in May, which is going to be the hit Anastasia, then you need to audition for the musical theater production class on Tuesday, December 12th from 4.15 to 5 in the chorus room. See Mr. Steak and Ms. Bird for more details. The CCA is excited to open up the Industrial Systems Technology class again in January. Take a look around your classroom from the chair you are sitting on now to the backpack to your phone. Everything is manufactured. In this class, you will learn about all the moving parts and brains behind creating the things that we use every day. Hydraulics, pneumatics, mechanical systems, and programming these systems. Careers in, the pay, in this area pay from $60,000 a year to $120,000 a year, even without a college degree. If you are interested in taking this class, look in your Google Classroom for the sign-up form. In sports, golf season begins next semester. Any male or female student interested in participating on the HCHS varsity golf team should see Coach Edwards before school or during first block in room 131. The only requirements will be a valid physical and a set of golf clubs. There will be a mandatory meeting for participants and parents and guardians in room 131 on December 12th at 445. Any students with problems or conflicts should see Coach Edwards as soon as possible. Practice will begin on January 31st. And now this. Good morning, I am Coach Clayton and I'm the tennis coach here at the high school. Our season is getting started in January, but it's time to start signing up now and we're looking for players. We're especially looking for freshmen and sophomores, but we'll take anybody. We don't even really care if you've played before. We can show you how. Our coaches are just that good. So, if you're interested, you can see me in the AV lab, you can sign up with Coach Harrell in the main building, or you can sign up with Coach Emma Place in the academy building. Just see any one of us and we will get you going. Thanks, have a great day. In addition to golf and tennis season, soccer season is also gearing up soon. In case you missed the players meeting, go by to see Coach Gilly in room 113 and get the info you need to join. Conditioning starts this afternoon and tryouts are January 16th. Attention all students, by now all attendance appeals should be underway. If you're behind or you've been living under a rock, any student with four or more unexcused absences must pick up an attendance appeal from the counselor's office, the main office, or the attendance office. The deadline to have those turned in is on December 13th, no exceptions. Please remember that too many absences can cause you to lose credit for the class, no matter what your grade is. For those of you who don't mind the cold, remember that ice cream is for sale every day during every lunch for only $1. And last but not least, our basketball teams will be, on home, will be at home on Tuesday against Model and will be at Gordon Central on Friday. Wish them luck. And that's all for the morning news. Have a nice day and remember, it's a great day to be a Harrelson County Rebel.